Hello students, today we are going to discuss about uh, 80 to 1 multiplexer, the execution of this 80 to 1 multiplexer on trainer kit and uh, before going to that, we already in the lab we have discussed about how to simplify a 16 is to 1 multiplexer to an 80 to 1 multiplexer using MEV technique. Uh, according to the simplification, we have these values D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. In this values, we have four different values in this eight data inputs we have four different values that is one zero d and d bar so the components required for this circuit are seven four one five one that is a multiplexer ic 16 in 16 pin multiplexer ic and we also require d bar so if i want to get d bar i should pass this d signal to a not gate so that i get a d bar so we also require a not gate seven four zero four so we will see the demonstration of this experiment. Now these are the ICs what we have. This is 74151 a 16 input uh, 16 pin IC and this is a 7404 NOT gate. Okay. And we will start the demonstration. So first we should we are going to place the IC on the IC slot. This we don't have any problem because this easily fixes into a 16 pin slot. So lock the IC and next we are going to take a NOT gate. So this is again a 14 pin IC, we are going to leave the bottom two slots free connections and then lock the IC. Next after locking the IC, first connection is connect VCC and ground. Even for a 16 pin IC, the VCC and ground are fixed, that is it is a 16 and 8. So that we have already discussed in the class. Next first we are going to connect VCC and ground for both the ICs. Afterwards, next, uh, now according to the experiment, we know that there are three selection lines. So the three selection lines are A, B, C. I am going to connect that A, B, C here like this. This is A, B and C. So these three selection lines will be acting as inputs, that is selecting the inputs, that is eight inputs. Uh, we are going to select by using this selection lines that is selection pins that are A, B, C and next we are going to connect the inputs. Now first according to the connection the first input is connected to pin number 4 this is first input connection so this is pin number 4 and this is a signal 1 so you can see here D0 is 1 you can see here D0 is 1 so I am going to connect it to pin number 4 this is pin number 4 this I am going to connect it to 1. So what is 1? 1 is plus 5 volts or you can connect it to a switch. Instead of connecting to the switch, we are going to connect it to plus 5 volts what we have here VCC. So we are going to short it like this. Again same thing. Coming to the circuit. Coming to the circuit. Coming to the circuit. Next D1 is pin number 2. Oh, sorry, pin number 3. D1 is pin number 3. This pin number 3 D1 is connected to 0. 0 means what you can see here. 3 is connected to D1, D1 is connected to 0, so 0 input means we are going to ground it, so we are going to ground it, so this is pin number 3 connected to ground, ok like this, we are going to continue the circuit, pin number 2 is connected to D, so here we are going to take D separately to an input signal, I am going to take it somewhere here, D, this is D, so this is again an input and again pin number 1 is connected to D3 again 1 is D3 is that is 1 is connected to 1 that is plus 5 volts next D4 D4 is pin number 15 so this is pin number 15 we are going to connect D4 to D so again this we have already connected D here. Again, I am going to short this D once again. Okay, fine. Next, D5 is pin number 14. This is pin number 14. I am going to connect this pin number 14. What is D5? According to the connection, D5 is D bar. Where do I get D bar? I am going to get D bar from my NOT gate. That is the output of NOT gate. This I am going to connect. So, now what happens, I am going to get D bar from here, but did I connect D from my D? No. So I am going to connect D here, we have already have D here, this I am going to connect it to 
the input of NOT gate and the output of NOT gate is D bar. This is what we have connected to pin number 14. This is pin number 14. Okay, next D6 is 0 again. D6 is connected to pin number 13. This is pin number 13. It's connected to ground. 0 means ground. I am going to short the ground again. Again, next D7. D7 is connected to pin number 12. So, this is pin number 12 and connecting to what D. So, I already have D here shorted. Once again, I am going to short it like this. So, you can short multiple connections if required. Next, these are my inputs. All my 8 inputs are connected and it is connected to all the 8 uh, pins for input connection. Next comes your selection pins. So, we already have 3 selection pins A, B and C. So, A is your MSB. A should be connected to pin number 9. So, this is your pin number 9 connected to pin number 9. Next, B is connected to pin number 10 and C is your LSB connected to pin number 11. So, I want to connect it like this. So, we have already connected the inputs, 8 inputs. We have collected the selection lines. Next remaining is my output and one more important signal, enable signal. Pin number 7, see we have taken here, pin number 7 is an enable signal. We are connecting this to what? Ground. Because it is an active low signal, we are going to connect it to ground. So, I am again shorting this ground. You can connect anywhere here. I am going to connect it here. All the grounds are together. Next, my output. Pin number 5 is my output. I am going to connect pin number 5 to any of these output signals. So, I am going to connect it to this. So, this is my connection for multiplexer. Now, we will verify the truth table. In this truth table, we have 8 data inputs that is D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. This is what the circuit what we have connected for these 8 data inputs. But actually, reality, the problem statement tells that we have 16 inputs. Okay, that 16 inputs are available here. Okay, these 16 inputs are available here. We are going to verify the truth table for these 16 inputs. Okay, now if I want to check for these 16 inputs, I need to drive my multiplexer with 4 selection lines A, B, C, D. Okay, this A, B, C, D will select one among these 16 inputs. Okay, now coming to the circuit diagram, here we have A, B, C, and this is D. Okay, now uh, we are going to combine all these four selection lines together, but actually reality we have done it by using 8 is to 1 multiplexer, but my problem statement is 16 is to 1. We are going to verify the true table for 16 is to 1 only. Now, first we are going to start. First combination is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This 0, 0, 0, 0 is the output is 1. You can check it here. The output is 1. Next 0, 0, 0, 1, even the output is 1. That is what the input for, for selection line 0, 0, 0, 1 is also D2, D1, D1. Okay, next 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. The input is 0. That is what I am getting here. My output in the multiplexer as 0. Next, 0, 0, 1, 1. Again, it is 0. So, again, the output is 0. Next, 0, 1, 0, 0 is also 0. Next, 0, 1, 0, 1 is 1. Okay, this is 5. Next, 6 is also 1. So, you can easily compare, come to the e expression what we have already given. So, you can check it out. Which are the uh, inputs will be high, data inputs will be high. This we have totally 16 data inputs. In this 16 data inputs, these min terms are high. So, that is 0, 1, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10 and 15. So, we are going to verify for that signals. It's enough. So, next combination is 7. So, I am going to give you 7. 7 is 1. Okay, next is 9. 9 is also 1. Next, 10. 10 is also 1. Next, 15. 15 is also 1. So, if I check for any other combinations other than this min terms, it will be 0. Suppose example 4, we don't have 4. So, I am going to check for 4. 4, this is 0, 1, 0, 0. That is 0. Now, suppose if I check for 8, that is 1, 0, 0, 0. That is also 0. If I check for 12, 1, 1, 0, 0. That is also 0. So, this is how we are going to verify the multiplexer for 16 inputs is to 1 output. Thank you.